Hi everyone, it's Teacher Paul with Prezi, and I am here to talk about engaging activities that you can do with your class during those synchronous virtual sessions that you have with them, such as the web conferences and online classrooms that you're going to be going into this fall, uh, if you're not already. Um, so I put together some activities for you, um, and part of these are to sort of refresh your students' understanding of content and uh, make them remember different key words as well as phrases from and concepts from the work that you've been giving them, uh, either during that uh, uh, asynchronous time when they're uh, doing their work or during synchronous sessions when you're doing so many uh, lectures or many lessons with them. Uh, anyway, the direct instruction part of it. So it's taking those concepts, doing more with it, as well as sort of energizing your students and having a little bit of fun with them and doing some community building at the same time. So let's take a look at what I developed here. Um, the first one is a letter to word association game. So you take words that are in your unit and you take the first letters of those words and you put them in a grid and then they try to recall what words they might be. So what I do with this one is I take Google uh, documents and they go, or Google slide decks, and they go into those. Each group has a Google slide and they work together under a time pressure of three minutes or less. Uh, to find all the words that they can associated with those letters. Um, so if you have a word like hamburger, um, you might put it under the H if you're doing a food unit of some sort or in the, if, if that's what you've covered. Um, so this can work for all sorts of things, but it's real fun. They get in and they actually get to know the technology as well. So it, it serves a dual purpose, both content as well as the technology component. And with each one of these, I have a, a little note to teachers along with a link, as you can see here, to those Google Docs that you can copy and paste those, or you can copy those uh, and clone it, and those can be yours to use in any way that you want. Okay, the next one then is the Bingo, Bingo Plus. And so this one, obviously, we all know Bingo. Um, you're looking for horizontal and vertical and diagonal matching. Um, you're up there, you're you're reading the specific words and they're noting them, but I've added a twist to it where they have to add a little bit more. And I think you could probably do this with some of your content too. Um, I just happen to use it with uh, state capitals. But basically I, I do Google slide deck again and each student has a bingo card this time. So they can write their name on the bingo card because it's all editable and they just need to find their bingo uh, card uh, within that. So the way that I do that is like in Zoom, you can uh, give everyone a number and they can change their name so that number is reflected in their in their in their Zoom name. Um, and then they go to that Google slide deck uh, that matches that and then that's the one that they use. So for this one, like I said, I use state capitals and we have Burlington, Boise, blah, blah, blah. And the students are also supposed to uh, level up with this by also putting the state. So it's not only that they've gotten the state capital, but it's also that they know the state as well. Um, so this makes for a nice little energizer as well when you're working with them. And again, I provide the Google Docs there so you have something to work with and you can just copy those. All right, next, and actually you probably need to adapt based on your your subject area as well. The next thing I did is guess the phrase, which is a bit like, um, it's a bit like, uh, uh, it's not Jeopardy, it's Wheel of Fortune, only that there's no guessing of the letters and there's no wheel. So is it really Wheel of Fortune? Probably not, but it's a little bit like it. So you can take phrases and quotes that are important parts of the works that you're working with. And I did one with Macbeth here. So let's just try it out. So, famous quote from Macbeth. Anybody have any guesses? Mm, look at, I have some point totals down there. So 26 points. So there's a B, anyone? And the students would write, if they got this, in the chat, what they, uh, if they understand and think they got the quote, they can put it there. So now everyone's yelling out during the whole thing because that would be pandemonium, right? Um, so you keep on going through the letters asking if they've gotten it yet. Notice that the point totals change. And I use animation, the animation feature for this inside of Prezi for both accounts. So it's the fade in 
in the animation space that allows you to do this. And you can swap it out, use your own. But basically, that's how you do it. So the quote is, double, double, toil and trouble. I went a little fast there. And then I ask, who said it? So again, leveling up. Who said this in the play? It's the Weird Sisters. You can get an extra 20 points. And then why is it significant? And you can ask your students that and then use your own judgment call if they've gotten it. So an extra 30 points. So notice I go a little bit deeper with these than um, just the regular bingo or matching phrases, letters to phrases and so forth. It's a little bit more than that. Um, anyway, these will help energize your class a little bit. They'll uh, break up the monotony. Um, they'll give you some interesting information, uh, whether or not the students know this stuff and whether that they know the technology as well. So I hope this has been helpful and we will see you real soon. Bye.